this video I am showing you how to make a herbal infusion so what you will need for this is a glass jar with a rubber seal lid to lock down now this one is from Ikea you want we're going to put boiling water into this so you want to make sure that it's toughened glass I used a glass jar from Home Bargains and it exploded so you don't want to do that so safety first now I have put a little bit of hot water into the bottom of this because it is really cold just now it's the winter um to make sure that the glass has started to heat up before I add the rest of it so that is a wee tip if you're not sure how tough your glass is we've got scales to weigh out and whatever dried herb we're going to be using so for today I'm going to be using nettle now this is not my own forage nettle, it's what I use during the summer, but during the winter when there is no nettle out there, I buy it in. Not ideal for me, but so it is. So we're going to weigh, this is a one litre jar, so I'm going to weigh 30 grams of dried herb into the jar. Just need to keep a wee eye on those scales. Some of the herbs, so this is really... Um, cut up this herb is really finely cut so it doesn't look a lot but when I'm using herbs that I've foraged myself the leaves are all much bigger so the jar looks much fuller sometimes the herb will fill quite a lot of the jar sometimes it won't but it's the weight that's important so we want that 30 grams there we go on the nose and I have just boiled the kettle the kettle is freshly boiled and I'm going to top this right up to the top. So we'll put that to the sides. And then we pour in the boiled water all the way up. You want to make sure that the hair gets saturated. And then I'm going to, so I've filled that quite full, but I'm going to then use a fork to press the herb down under the water. Because sometimes air bubbles get caught in amongst the herbs. And for those of you in the Healing Rebel Mastery membership, I will put an information sheet for the different herbs that I use these, inf that I do infusions for and how I use them. So you can just go into the membership site, log in and check that out. So I'm just going to fill that right to the top and then close that to the side and then close the lid, lock it down. I usually do this at the sink because sometimes some water seeps out so I'll just wait a moment. And then you leave that four to eight hours to let it infuse. Now I sometimes leave it a bit longer because I make it before I go to bed and then drink it in the morning when I come when I wake up. So when this is ready you'll then strain off the liquid. So I use a milk bag to strain off my liquid. Which one of these I pour the liquid through into a jar to collect the infused liquid. Then I compost the herb and drink the liquid. Now if you forget about the liquid and you maybe leave it 24 hours you can use this for feeding your plants very good herbs herb extract is very good for feeding your plants um, when you have drained this off you want to drink that liquid within 24 hours so if you've left if you've drank some of it but not drank all of it again you can either chuck it in the compost or feed your plants with it so there is no need for waste with this but these are densely nutritious depending on which herbs you use packed with vitamins and minerals in some cases protein as well that's what you get with nettle and they flood your body with all these nutrients to really help so you can use and i do use herbs in teas very useful but you're only using a small amount of herb and only steeping it for maybe five to ten minutes so you're not getting a really potent formula there so more herb, longer infuse, and it's, the water must be boiling, like just off the boil when it goes in. Absolutely 
packed with nutrient dense and this is especially beneficial for anybody with a chronic health condition where maybe absorption of nutrients can be challenging for you so if you've got any gut health stuff going on where absorbing nutrients is very difficult liquids like this that are packed with those nutrients really help get that in because your body's not having to break down and digest food and then extract it it's all extracted through this process it's also the herbs that i share with you are extremely beneficial for women's health so for helping regulate your hormones for helping regulate your immune system for helping regulate your circulatory system so your blood it helps and you you help one system you help all systems because no system works alone always a glass jar never plastic because one you're putting boiling water into it two plastic even if it's bpa or pfa free there's other chemicals that we don't know about yet that are going to be leaching in when you put boiled water onto plastic that just activates all the toxins to come out into your liquid and you don't want to be drinking toxins there if you're buying herbs and you can get and afford organic then organic is best in the summertime foraging is brilliant because you're getting generally naturally organic and it's freshly picked but always dry the herb don't use it as a fresh herb fresh herb the cellular structure is different and you want the cellular structure to start to be broken down so that it easily releases the nutrients and that's what happens in the drying process and then when you add that boiling water on so if you've got any questions about it reach out to me if you're not already a, a Healing Rebel Mastery member, check out wherever you're watching this in the description for how to join. And if you're already in there, you can get all the information about the different herbs that I suggest that you can use.